Hello, welcome to Thermal Dynamics. I'm going to try and go through like different systems like fairly quickly. So this is the basic system, I guess. You've got a steam dynamo with water and coal. Feeds energy into the energy cube. Uh, energy cell. Um, okay, so then what you do is you drop uh, coal in here and you extract sulfur and tar at various stages. So the coal gets to pulverized coal, uh, goes to liquefied coal. The liquid liquefied coal comes in, and the liquefied coal will convert over to the tar, which gets extracted. Did I reset this for some reason? I should go at some point. Unless I broke the cable. No, there it goes. Okay. It does take a while to update for some I don't know why. Uh, yeah, and then so that goes to let's see Napf uh, Napster. And that is gonna go to this refined fuel. And then what you can do at that point is you can just remove it, all this and just plug it straight back in here uh, uh, we can see now it's going to get huge, it's going to get a lot more power basically and it will be it will be uh, pretty straightforward. And of course, it's still running on coal there. Okay, have I got another another sort of system here? Uh, I don't need this. So yeah, similar sort of thing. Uh, kind of a little bit different actually, but essentially what happens is what the sawmill is. Uh, it's extracting some sawdust and then the logs and then the planks are going in here and then we've got compactors put in. So basically the these are going to planks, the planks are being converted to sawdust. The extra sawdust which comes from uh, this guy is being routed through this chest into this guy, the compactor which is in storage mode. Um, then the compressed sawdust is uh, being turned into, so charcoal is sort of like a, uh, byproduct, but the point of this is that you can get um, creosote oil from it, and that can be used to to uh, to get that. So yeah, so this charcoal extra. Another funny thing is is the creosote you can make with a lot of it. This is really like to see like how can we and then we feed the compression dynamo back. Uh, yeah, the cold coke as well. You can actually convert with this. Uh, with this this uh, sort of specialization the uh, it's called the the pyrolytic conversion it's a really cool one actually uh, because what you can do is you can convert coal into coal and you get creosote each time so you see I'm basically doing two of them you could also do cactus and hay uh, pretty cool though and here's the thing right at each stage here you could maximize the planks you're getting you know you could increase the yield here so what it means is you're going to get huge amounts of creosote oil, um, and this is—I think this is actually—and and the fact you can do this with cold coke as well, you could, uh, you could obviously speed. And it only takes one hardened kit, uh, two hardened kits, I suppose, if you're going to do it like this. Obviously, you need to supply the uh, the coal, but you're going to have lots of extra stuff like, um, uh, yeah, you can have cold coke because obviously you, the reason you do you make this into the cold coke is uh, to help feed this the compression dynamo but you've got cold coke as well um, and yeah that's for steel so it's a pretty uh, pretty useful thing as you might imagine